Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so blessed to know that there are people out there that are studying God's words. I'm just grateful for you. I'm encouraging you. I'm, 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 I'm trying to inspire you to get into the Word of God. Study it verse by verse, line upon line, precept upon precept. God enjoys this time uh, that we share together in His Word. So, Uh, Do that on your own, but enjoy the time in the podcast as well, and my prayer is that the Lord will speak to you. We always love to go to Him in prayer, encourage you to do that before you study the Word on your own. Let's go to prayer together now. Heavenly Father, we do come to you before our study today, knowing that your Holy Spirit is our teacher. You said He would guide us into all truth. Lord, you said that the Holy Spirit would be the power of behind living according to this truth, that you wouldn't just give us principles and ways to live, but you'd also give us the power to live in those principles and ways. So we bless you today. We thank you again for your word. We open. We ask you to open our eyes and ears, our hearts and our minds to the things that you would share with us. And we bless you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. A re- to, the, excuse me, the title of today's lesson is A Remnant of Jacob Among Gentiles. And it's taken from the book of Micah chapter 5 and verse 8. Micah the prophet concerned himself with the remnant of people who would return to Israel during the last days. He said they would be as a dew from the Lord and as the showers upon the grass and would have their influence over many nations of the earth. In chapter 5 and verse 8 of his prophecy, Micah tells how this remnant shall be among the Gentiles, where we read, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treads down and tears in pieces, and none can deliver. The verse begins, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, and as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Micah continued his discourse on the remnant of Jacob by noting their place among the Gentiles, or non-Hebrew nations. He declared they would be in the midst, or middle, of many people, or nations, as a lion among the beasts or in the manner in which a lion lives among other cattle, livestock, or animals. He went on to say they would be as a young lion or lion cub among the flocks of the sheep, which refers to the small cattle, sheep, and goats, and flocks of them. The idea is that the remnant of Israel will be as powerful as a lion among other animals when they return to their land. The surrounding nations will not be able to overcome them any more than other animals, particularly sheep and goats, could overcome a lion or its cub. The verse goes on to say, who, if he go through, both treads down and tears in pieces and none can deliver. So the readers of his prophecy would be clear about this powerful influence of the remnant. Micah wrote, who, if he go through, or passes over, crosses, crosses over, marches over, overflows, or goes over, both treads down, which means tramples, and tears in pieces, or rends, or plucks, and none can deliver, or snatch away, deliver, rescue, save, strip, plunder, or spoil. In other words, when the people of Israel come into full power, no one will be able to resist or deliver, be delivered from their strength. When we meditate upon these words of Micah, perhaps it will help us to consider what some think of this time for the remnant of Israel. This is quite possibly the great tribulation time of which Jesus and the books of Daniel and Revelation share. During this time, there will be 144,000 Jewish believers who will minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the nations who are around them will not be able to resist them or the power of God who brings judgment upon them. Regardless of the timing of this remnant among the Gentiles, one thing is for certain. It will not be a good time for those nations who oppose Israel. May we always keep ourselves in alignment with Jesus Christ and the people of Israel whom the Lord God loves so dearly and will equip to tread upon all who oppose them. 
Next time, Micah writes concerning adversaries and enemies. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.